Hi crafty friends, welcome back, Nina here and today we are going to create part 2 of the art journal You Make Me Happy from Doodlebug Design release. Today we are going to create the internal inserts for the art journal and the art journal itself. And I'm going to show you how to create all these inserts, some with pockets and some are just blank. And I'm going to show you how I put it all together uh, with elastic cords to bind it and stick everything to the cover that we created in the previous video. I'm going to link up on the right corner uh, the link to the previous video so you can see it if you have missed it. So first of all, uh, to create the ones with the uh, pockets, we are either going to need a paper that is 10 inch by 2.5 so here I am, uh, this paper is from Long Fawn called Spiffy Speckles. I chose papers that are matching with the papers from the collection. Some of my stash. And you're going to come on the scoreboard and you're going to uh, create a crease on the 5 inch mark from the side that is 10 inch and rotate and on the 10 and a half inch you're going to score at 1 inch and then at 4 inch. These two tiny um, uh, score lines are going to create the pockets. So you're going to come from this side and cut and delt the middle. Don't go higher than this, just with the first two score lines. Then you're going to fold on the 10 inch uh, side. You're going to create this fold is going to create the insert itself, the folding insert. And the lower part is going to create the pockets. So you're going to open it like this and fold up each side. This is going to create the pocket. And for the decoration, you're going to fold it again a tiny bit that is an inch, just for an extra decoration look, so it looks more interesting. And uh, also another decoration part that you're going to create is to make it look more interest and so it would uh, the insert would close easily. I'm going to create this diagonal line. We're going to cut a diagonal line one inch away from each side of the cut. I'm going to mark one inch away from each of the cut. And then I'm going to diagonally cut it to meet uh, the middle point of all the folding lines. Just like how you're seeing it. And you need the long scissors for this. So you create a straight line. And then later in this pocket, we are going, uh, you will see it through the video, we are going to um, glue the sides. So it creates the pocket. Here. This is the pink color from the Spiffy Speckled. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the green one. Oh, before that, we are going to make sure that it's folded properly. And then we are going to come with the um, uh, corner punch and cut all the corners all around. This gives it way more professional look. We are even going to cut the corners of the pockets. This is a very helpful tool. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. Cuts beautiful corners of both si of uh, two sizes. One is this tiny corner that I created and the other one is a little bigger. So this is the first one. And I'm going to create the exact same thing with the green color. I'll create it off camera so to save some time. Don't forget that you're going to find all the materials and the tools that I've used today in the uh, description below. So if you like any of these products and you want to check it out, you'll find it down there. And here's the green um, paper from Lanfon and I created the exact same thing. So now we're going to create the cover that's going to bind all these inserts together. I want it to be really sturdy. So I'm using two uh, cardstock uh, Bristol Smooth, very thick. They are around 300. And um, on each section, I'm going to put double-sided tape on each of these uh, three uh, sections, just to make sure that they are really stuck together. And in the middle, I'm going to apply a generous amount of uh, adhesive, liquid glue, just to make sure that uh, both of them are stuck together and properly glued. I'm going to show you the first section so you can see how much I'm putting up the glue and how I'm doing it. And then I'm 
I'm gonna do the rest of it off camera. Just make sure that, making sure that uh, they are both stuck together and aligned. And I'm going to bring my bone folder and make sure that the glue in between is really spread properly and I'm taking out all the air bubbles and it is properly attached to the other side. And in the middle here, I'm just showing you that in each crease, I'm going to put a lot of glue just to make sure this is gonna bear a lot of load for opening and closing. So I'm just applying this glue to make sure that it is sturdy at this area as well. So going through with the both sides with the bone folder just to make sure that everything is stuck together. This is Nuvo adhesive. It's very helpful, liquid glue, but when it dry, when it dries, it is permanent and very strong. Just cleaning my helpful glass mat. And here I'm making sure that they are uh, properly folded. I'm gonna use my bone folder again to make sure that I folded them properly so they are easy to open and close. And then um, I'm going to show you how it looks like with the inserts inside. It looks so pretty. I of course use the same measurements of the cupboard that I created earlier. And these are the pockets. Say there, I'm going to create a lot of tabs and a lot of cards to put in, the, to put in these pockets to make it so cute. In the next video, in part three, I'm going to create to decorate and embellish the, all these inserts to finalize the whole journal. So this is you just need to apply this much of glue on this side, only on the side, not the fold, not the decorative fold, only at this side. I'm gonna show you again on the other side. Uh, for this insert, I'm going to glue this fold over, but on the other one, I thought maybe I'll leave it open. It looks cuter. I'm gonna apply the glue here, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. These card stock that I chose are the tried my best to make them match the colors of the collection. So the light pink, the dark pink, the red, and the teal. I also chose light yellow and um, brown because there is a lot of chocolate in the collection, so it looks so pretty. So then we are going to um, use the elastic cords and I'll show you how to make it so cute. How we're going to bind it and uh, even close the ends of the elastic cords with a very sweet embellishment. Really cute buttons. So these are the inserts. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for all of them. See the matching colors? So I'm gonna put them together and get the cover and start the binding. There they are, all of them. And this is the cover. I made the cover a little uh, thick because it's gonna get bulky once we start the uh, uh, put the tags and all the cards inside. Here's the elastic cord. I'm going to create a cord for each of these inserts. So I think there's seven inserts, so I created seven cords. So now to measure the cord, you need it to turn around and you leave a little extra for the knot. And I'm gonna create seven of these. So I'm just gonna show you the first one so we can create together. And then for the rest, I'm gonna do off camera, just to save time. Uh, these are the buttons. I got them from Joanne. Uh, it's a collection of buttons. They come together and it's kitchen themed. So what you're gonna do is you're, go is you're gonna thread one of the sides, one of the ends of the elastic cord. And then opposite to it, you're gonna thread from the other side, the other end. And then you're going to create the knot here. There we go. I'm gonna make double knots just to make sure that it will stay in place. Once I put the insert, I don't want it to uh, go anywhere. So here's how it looks. And I'm gonna remove these ends with the scissors. 
this is how it's going to look from the outside and you can move it and you can change the order of the elastic cords once you're done so it's a really reversal process and you can change their position you can change where you put them you can change the order I'm going to create the exact same thing for all the, um, the other inserts here this is how you put it inside this as simple as this see it just sticks inside very pretty so I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the um, other elastic bands I'm gonna make seven and then we're going to here. look how beautiful is this I also try to choose colors that match with the collection you don't want to um, stretch it too much give it some room and this is one of them I'm showing you that I created the knot on the inside not the outside and later in the next video I'm gonna show you how to embellish the ins internal knot that is gonna be showing from the inside of the insert and here I'm going to put each of the insert in, and decor it just put them through that easy I'm trying to uh, decide on the arrangement which color goes first so uh, I'm just going to put teal then I thought I'll put the pink is the pink gonna be next to the pink but then I decided to put pink and then the other colors see here I the pockets are having the flaps that are not glued to the to the pocket it's very beautiful collection of colors that they created in this um, line they all match together they're all something like pastel colors and this is a chocolate color and this the knot from, from the inside so this is how it looks all of it together all the insert are bound to the art journal and now we're going to do the exact same thing what we did for, for the internal with the cover with the white cover we are going to do the same thing to attach uh, the top cover to the journal itself we are going to put all around double-sided tape and in the middle we are going to apply again generous amount of uh, adhesive again I'm going to use a uh, novo adhesive I'm doing my best to put the you know, to apply the double-sided tape at the very edge of each side don't forget that you're going to find the link below for each of the tools that I used and here is a very dangerous thing that I was going to do I was going to put the cover upside down make sure that it is oriented correctly before you commit and stick them together so I'm gluing it carefully edge to edge corner to corner and because they are the same side they're just gonna fit properly I'm again going to bring my bone folder and make sure that they are both attached uh, properly and glued together it looks so pretty look at the inserts and the colors how they look together and the binding It'll, it's all coming back coming together looks so nice here is the outer cover that we created last time and here is the side with all the buttons and the inserts I'm gonna flip through so you can see all of the cover and the inserts and everything and i'll leave you here and i'll catch you next time with part three so we can start putting the tags and the cards inside and all the mini icons of the collection so don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next part i'm going to leave you here with the photos so you can check them out thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye